Hi, I'm Matt Nelson, Channel Technical Agronomist for Central Iowa. Today I'm going to be showing you how to dig plants and how to evaluate roots when we're looking for injury from corn rootworm larvae. This past week I was called out to a field in western Iowa that had experienced some root lodging. Uh, root lodging occurs when wind comes through and blows uh, over corn plants, pushing them over onto the ground. Root lodging is normally a great indication of some sort of corn rootworm feeding. The best way to dig these plants is to get your spade and go out about seven inches from the, that base of the plant uh, and dig about 10 plants out of that field. Once you've brought them back to wherever you're going to treat them, uh, go ahead and fill a bucket of water and let that root mass soak in that bucket for quite some time until larvae float to the top. So I'm standing here in my driveway and we're gonna walk through now uh, how, how we evaluate these roots to see if there was any feeding from the corn rootworm larvae. So uh, this root has been soaking in a bucket of water. I've been able to use my hose to spray the roots off and clean some of the soil so we can get right down to uh, the roots and check for any signs of feeding. Um, and we're primarily gonna wanna focus on the upper three uh, nodal root systems, uh, including these, these primary brace roots, uh, and look for uh, any signs of necrotic tissue, uh, any signs that the roots have kind of been pruned off. Um, and sometimes you may even be able to find larvae either in the roots or see uh, the points at which they entered those roots to start to feed. So upon closer inspection, we can see that there are slight amounts of root pruning and it does look like these roots have been fed on. Um, the damage does not look uh, extremely severe, but there are, is definitely signs uh, of some corn rootworm larvae activity on this root mass. So as we saw, there was some feeding on this plant root um, I won't get into the, ver the specific details on how we would score this, but essentially you have uh, a ranking between zero and three. Uh, zero to one stands for one of these uh, systems of nodal roots, two for the second, and three for the third. And what we're essentially looking is what percentage of each node is trimmed back to within a half inch of the stem. So uh, really all you need to do is take a tape measure and um, get a measurement on some of these trimmed roots. Um, and I know this is hard to see on video, but we've got a few that are trimmed uh, to within a half inch, but for the most part, they are not. So uh, the, the way that uh, we look at that scale is, is generally we're watching for a rating of 0.5 to 0.75. That's where we start to become concerned. And if you're scoring that root over 0.75, it means that economic loss is probably likely uh, to happen over the course of the growing season due to reduced root growth and potentially uh, lodging issues late in the season. If you are seeing uh, a lot of feeding on your plant root systems. It's a good idea to keep an eye on that field uh, throughout the course of the, of the rest of the growing season. Uh, we can also use sticky traps, uh, which are just pheromone uh, traps to kind of bait those, lar those adults in as they emerge, uh, which is gonna start uh, sometime around the middle of July. So essentially now into August. And uh, we just like to take these traps and sticky tie them, or, or excuse me, twist tie them above uh, the ear on those corn plants, peeling away any leaves around them so that uh, they aren't interfering with collection of adults. And then check these every week to 10 days to see how many adults you're picking up. If you're collecting a significant amount, uh, it usually means it's time to consider applying some sort of foliar insecticide uh, as those adults will start to maybe feed on corn silks and potentially lay eggs in the soil, uh, meaning that's an issue you may have to deal with uh, in the next growing season as well. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Channel Iowa for more agronomic updates as the season progresses.